top of the time zone everybody my name is freddie j for freddie j sports we are about to start our qualifying rounds for the tgc tours the tgc tours was a esports tournament that i used to do live on my twitch channel now i've decided i know it's a bit late no i'm a couple seasons behind but i am coming back to the tgc tours uh, we're playing in the challenge circuit um for the qualifier and i'm hoping that we can at least get to cck the challenge circuit k there's plenty of leagues plenty of tours and uh, brackets and levels i'm not sure what's the right word to put in but uh cck is kind of one of the lower tier ones because uh that's where we were last year or i don't know how long has it been since i've actually played in the tc tours but i usually am in the cck ccl so i'm hoping to get back in there maybe a little bit uh maybe a little bit higher that is a possibility but i'm hoping that you know we have a good round uh, i wish i could see the little leaderboard um let me see the leaderboard i don't know if it's going to be accurate oh my goodness look at all these good gracious look at these scores to be fair some of these could be the three click league as well but um we're going to be using the same clubs we've been using um, I haven't edited anything yet. We don't have a lot of uh, currency. I might next weekend buy some because I, I really need to catch up with the game. And yeah. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to raise this a bit. And now here we are at the first tee. Oh, this is a beautiful course. Look at that little shoreline right there. Okay, okay. Where do I... I guess right here is a good place. I don't like having my mouse in play. Oh my goodness. That is a nice look. I believe this is master settings here for the challenge circuit and I'm not too sure how I feel about that I haven't played on master in a bit I've been playing on pro because that's how I feel um compared to like I, I prefer an easier experience because the last few games I've struggled tremendously and it hasn't been as fun I want to at least get myself into it but if that helps me get the length I need then don't mind if I do. Well, the three hybrid is probably our best club we can use for this. So I'm going to loft this up. Look at that elevation right here. That's a bit fast, but I think this is going to be safely on the green. It might roll. I'm hoping we do get a little roll. We got a little roll, but not enough. And yeah, that is a ugly putt. 31 feet going harshly left to right. I'm putting this way up here. Not enough power. All right, let's tap this in for par. I say that's a tap in. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. Oh, that was for par. Okay. 
I, I see, I was very fortunate that was a par five because if it wasn't, we just bogeyed. So it's okay. First hole, uh, didn't want a three putt there, but it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. So let's go ahead and try to make up for this. We see right in the landing spot, we have this first bunker. I don't want to land in a bunker. Perfect. And look at me. And see, the crazy thing about this is I have more of a tendency to hit my ball, my have a fast swing compared to uh, a, a slow one. So big bravo to me to choose the correct uh, path for that. I mean, either way, you is fine because you hit it perfect. But to be bold and just aim pretty much in a spot where you would have been. That one's a bit fast, but I think this is going to drift right where we need it. Oh, we're not going to get any type of backspin on this. But we're on the green. This one's a quiet one. Oh, licked the cup and didn't go down. He was on to something there. We'll have to settle for par on that one. Currently even after two. One of the biggest things that I have a, a, a fear for when it comes to playing the TGC Tours is when I constantly make pars, that's a walking chance of eventually getting a bogey. And we don't want that. We're playing from the red tee today, and that one is going left. Let's see if it hits that mound coming down. Kick it back more center. It did a little bit, and it's rolling. That'll go for about 316. All right. So this one's uphill. Wind is a bit towards the left. Got an iron here, a nine. Mm, I, yeah, I also saw that too. That one's a bit fast. I don't think the wind is going to save us on this one. We got a... Oh, man, that went a bit short, too. All right. Well, it stuck the landing, but that is definitely going to be something... That's definitely going to be two-putt range right now. Cause, oh, my goodness. This one is horrible. I'm going to aim slightly. See, I can see it zigzagging a bit. We're just going to go for it. That may be a little bit too much to the left. But that was a good look. I'll take it. I'll take that par. Three pars to start out. Barely keeping our nose clean, honestly. Here we are at the fourth. This one's 343 yards. The question is, I don't think I could drive this green. The one time I hit it slow, that's going to be flirting with the sand. It ran out. But we're in the rough. Gonna have a hard time here. Let's go for a flop. 
Not a full Freddy flop, but... Let's go gap wedge. I wish we could have got closer, but we'll take that. Now, this is 15 feet. Oh, so short. Another par. Those have been very frustrating right now. We've parred the first four. We're going to have a par three soon, and it's going to ruin our day. Uh, this almost reminisces of St. Andrews, honestly. That was a nice drive. That felt good out of my hands, honestly. The fact that it was fast, I don't really care about, like... Sometimes I feel like the game is kind of, like, just being random. Because, like, I feel like I make good swings... I'm going to go down a club because I am anticipating the bounce. But uh, that fast made this a lot harder. Because now we're wide. And once again, we got another cheeser. Turn, turn, and we just missed it. Good read. Wish I could have slowed it down a bit. This par is going to be extra critical. That was one of the scariest pars we've seen. And here's that par three we're talking about coming up next on the sixth. Well, this par three isn't too bad. We just got to hope to... This pin placement's horrible. And that will fly across. Was not expecting that. Alrighty then. Well... This is going to be a damage control hole. Again, even par. Another thing I want to mention is I'm not fully sure if I'm going to make this one. Oh, basically, we're, on, we're at 15 minutes now. We're about to be at 15 minutes. So there's definitely going to be full round coverage for all four rounds. So... Uh, round one is going to be a video, round two is going to be a video, round three, four. Maybe we'll have a post-conference. By that time, I should be able to have my... Th the main reason why I'm not doing any uh, actual... You're not seeing my camera right now is because I, I kind of want to do like a press conference format so that way it feels a bit more real. Oh my goodness, what was that? That was probably one of our worst tee shots we've had. Fortunate enough, this is a par 5. 
that says it was slow, but it felt a lot. That felt good, honestly. All right, now we got to get on the green and get close. That one's really trying. That is not close. Yeah, these greens are sticking. They're not bouncing as much as you thought it was going to do. That one's already to the left. That's a good look, but we we needed that one to stay up. <laughs> so even par through seven. And here we are, another par three. I'm going to go with the hybrid here. And I think that might work in our favor. Look how much it's pushing to the left, despite it being a slow. That is a real good shot. Let's hope it it, it comes back down. It didn't, but that's still a good shot. All right, now, 11 feet. I don't believe that turn was that serious. That was very frustrating. That could have been our first birdie, but it broke a little bit more than that. And I'm just like very questioning. Like I'm questioning that, but we move on. We'll, we'll think about it the next time. That one's a bit of a slow, but I think we'll be fine. I'm going to speed this up real quick. 331. All right. So we know it sticks. I'm going to put a dagger on it. Ooh, I yoinked it. Oh, my goodness. I yoinked it bad. Wow. What was that? I can't believe that literally happened. Like, that was brutal. Oh, that is lined up. Beautiful. What a beautiful save right there. We could have did a little bit more if we wanted to be honest. But we'll take... Yet another par, even par through the front nine. And so here we are in the back nine, currently even par. My goodness. This one's a dog leg to the right. So I'm going to play it. Perfect. Now this one's going to hop on this mound and it's going to be flirting with that rough over there if it goes too far. It had a lot of roll. Well, I called it. <laughs> too much roll on that one. Was not okay with that. All right, we might be looking at the bunker here, but we're going to try our best to not pay attention. That one's going to be on the green, but still a bit too wide from where I wanted to be. But 
we're on and that's all that matters all right this is 31 feet we haven't made a birdie shot today let's change that That's going to be short. It was on track, too, so... You don't have any kind of gauge of power here. So, we're going to continue with 10 consecutive pars. Here at the Barry Linden. And now here we are at the 11th. A par 3, and this one I really don't like. Simply because the wind, the slope, everything about this hole. And that is going bye-bye. That might be out of bounds. Unbelievable. Y'all would have never seen something crazy like that I don't believe we saw that <laughs> it literally hopped from the ground and hopped over the fence Let's see if our luck is about to end here. This is 12 feet. What break even luck we have right now. Even par through 11. That was one of the most ridiculous saves I've ever seen. And now we're at the 12th. This is another par 5, a long one, 584 yards. That one's a bit fast, but it should be straightly down the fairway. One of the biggest problems we've been having lately when it comes to the golf game, uh, we haven't been playing enough. Uh, simply put, we we don't play this game as often as I as I would like to, mainly because there has been uh, other games as well that I've been getting into. So we hit a perfect there. That's gonna hit the mound and probably, hopefully, kicks towards the fairway. I mean, or the green, rather. N not sure why if the wind was not helping at all. But yeah, like I was saying, we've been playing a bunch of different games on the other channels, uh, on uh, Twitch mainly. Uh, I recently play uh, Dead by Daylight. Been uh, trying to get back into that now that Laura Croft is in the game. Also, uh, been trying my hand at Valorant. It's a tactical shooter. I haven't been really good at tactical shooting like that since uh halo so i wanted to try and get good at that also i've been uh trying my hands at overwatch as well and then occasionally i try to grind the battle pass for fortnite this is by far the longest putt i've seen this is 83 feet like i would be so surprised if this gets anywhere close to the hole but this is for eagle so Hey, we'll take that as long as it stops that close. Yep, stay right there. We'll take that. That was a good look. And now we have our chance for our first birdie. And finally, 
the streak ends with the birdie on the 12th. We are finally one under. It took 12 holes to finally get our first birdie. It's almost like how I'm playing golf in real life, except I make a lot of bogeys. Mainly because at the start, and this is where the game gets similar, uh, I can't hit my driver right now. Like, I'll have one good drive, and the rest are just lucky that I was able to get it onto the fairway, but I'm still crawling. That one's a perfect. It's going to be on the left side, but it could trickle down into the bunker just because. Oh, it fought through that hump. Now we're on top on the fairway. Nicely done. All right. Lop wedge is not going to do that. I am going to pull a sand wedge out and I'm going to I'm going to try to flush this one. That one's going to be tight. Too far. That one rolled a little bit. And that's still rolling. And now this is a 30-foot putt, once again, for birdie. To go back to back. It's looking good. Missed it by a hair. I was like inches away from the hole. We get the par. Still one under after 13. Yeah, these greens have been confusing because some of the times they stick and some of the times it'll roll away. And that's the one thing I kind of want to work on my game is to make sure they... I, I put the ball where I want it to be in regards of my stroke because the tempo ha is, no matter what, just inconsistent. Like, like that. That is a good look. You can stop now. Like stuff like that drives me nuts. We get another par. And now here we are at the 15th. That one's again fast. But yeah, we definitely want to do something about our irons and wedges because it's really annoying how much just our swing in general. It's just inconsistent. Like, look at that. And look how far this is going to punish us, too. So now, 22 feet for birdie. How do you think you're going to miss? I think I'll be right there, but it'll just be short. I don't think this is going to be too wide to the left. Oh, 
Oh, wow. It, it literally was the right... Right distance, but to the left. Another par. Through 15. Alright, so this one's a weird one. This is a par 5, but you have this big old mound right here. Honestly, rather hit from this fairway. You know, I just might do that. That's probably one of the smartest moves you could make right there. However, yeah, this one... <laughs> uh, do I want to go for it? I I think our best bet is probably to play it safe because there's listen there's no way perfect nice little light up right there all right now we attack. All right, we're on the green. And a putt will be coming, at least one. 16 feet, a little bit of left to right action. I don't know if I mishit that, but that's going to be short. Oh, so close to turning in. Another par. As we head on to the 17th. This one's going straight. And we're not going to get any support. That's in the rough. All right. I'm going to take a high lofted six iron. Wow. That played short. So maybe I should have did the same thing, but with uh, <laughs> five then. Oh, come back. All right. This is for par. In there. We've been scrambling all day, and I do not have any eggs. Still one under. All right, now we're at the final hole. We get 50 XP if we can score eagle or better. I don't think we have that in us. That one's a slow, so we're going to get a little fade here. A cool 303 yards. I'm hitting this one at the parking lot. That might actually go in the parking lot. That's actually going to hit a hit the corner shop I I don't believe it
And looks like our luck ran out. So. Well. I didn't want to say it, but. There goes our, our uh, bogey free round. It was only a matter of time anyway, because we've been parring way too much. And, yep, here's the collapse. Double bogey to make up for all of the times all we did was save par. And to tease us yet again, being short. Well, that erased our entire momentum at the end. Two over. All because we went out of bounds in the last hole. We appreciate everybody for coming out. We're going to see how we did. And make sure y'all stay tuned for more TGC Tour content, some more PGA Tour 2K23 content, some more golf, all things sports. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, we'll see you.